Previously on the Pride of Edinburgh. Last time out, we took on East Kilbride at their place in the final League Cup group game. We won 2-0, but it wasn't good enough. We were knocked out of the competition. Our second place finish did not qualify us for the next round. Then we took on Partick in our first Premier League game at Easter Road, and we won 1-0, courtesy of a goal by Brandon Barker. Then, our last game of the video was a trip to Ibrox. We were one of the favourites, Rangers, and we lost 2-0. Edinburgh, home of royalty, culture, and tradition. It's also home of two classic Scottish clubs, but there's only room for one of them. Welcome to the Pride of Edinburgh. So back to business now. First and foremost, we're going to take on Hamilton in the Premier League, or the Premiership, Scottish Premiership. So this is the starting lineup for this match. Marciano in goal, Stevenson, Hanlon, Erkstrand, Ambrose, uh, with midfield three of McGinn, Jara, McTomney. And on the wings, I've got Barker and Boyle with Murray up front. Substitutes include Stokes, Romanotta, Rehepa, Murphy, and Silvica. So I'm hoping to get back to winning ways. And our position, uh, starting with the 4-1-4-1. And we're at Easter Road for this big match. Big, because it's, well, no, it's just the next one on the on the schedule. The next one's going to be after this one will be the next big one. So let's kick off. And our visitors will get the match underway. As we hope to maybe pick up a good victory here. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. These are the teams that we want to be beating. Crosses in the box. Good effort. It'll go up to be a corner for Hamilton. Headed clear only as far as Ezekiel McKinnon. Still building. Eventually breaks and Hibernian can sort it out. Free kick amounts to nothing. So, so far, all Hamilton. I decided to stick with this tried and trusted formation. Um, I know it didn't really suit me well against Rangers. Uh, maybe... Maybe I do need to, to change it, but it, it's usually a steady formation that does, does the job well. There we go. Beautiful. I've actually come from the corner, handling with a header. 1 0. We're in front. Look out on the big screen. Woo! So Hanlon, centre back in the partnership with Erkstrand at the back. Job, does the job well with his noggin. Woods boots it for Hamilton. It breaks back for Hibbs. Out right to Ambrose. McGinn to Murray. Long distance shot. Really ambitious that one. Uh, for a player of his quality anyway. Creeping and crawling towards the half time mark. And we are doing alright. We are doing okay. Half time. There it is. Uh, we turned the, turned the screw a little bit. We, we, seem to, we seem to get ahead of them now on possession and uh, chances. So maybe we can finish it off in the second half. I think it is important to try and remain unbeaten as long as possible in the league for Hibs at home. Um, obviously, we're going to be going to uh, Celtic Park and, and Ibrox on a number, number of occasions. Uh, I don't expect to get anything from them. But realistically, our goal is to try and remain unbeaten or get as close to as unbeaten at home and try and pick up whatever we can do at ugh, flipping heck on the road. Here's me getting all uh, cocky and ambitious. Oh, my days. What to do? Let's see what that does, if anything. So Hamilton, the cheeky buggers, uh, on the top of us at the moment. Made a couple changes, bringing some loanies. Maybe they can freshen up the place. But right now, it's all Hamilton. Not the ideal start to the save this would be. I'm, I'm, I was hoping for a win here. I'm not going to lie. Bit of dangerous play at the back here. By Hibbs Boyle now. Crosses in there, doesn't get anywhere. Romanotta, Ajara. Barker! Oh, it's just, just fraction wide. That could have done it. Now Hamilton break. Doherty. He tries a similar sort of effort. Another centre back scoring today. Two centre backs. 
Is there going to be a third goal, a decisive goal? Nearly. Hamilton nearly put the ball in the back of the net there. That would have probably given him all three points. Now, Hamilton aren't no pushover. I recall a couple of years back when uh, the current Preston manager, so Alex Neal, I think he was manager of them, and he turned them into a, a decent side. Uh, looks like it's going to fizzle out to a, a bit of a draw, a bit of a stalemate. Which, yeah, it's not ideal, but it's, it's, it's an opportunity lost. So, I'm giving him a bit of a, a what for. And that result puts us in seventh spot. And Hamilton now climbs to fourth. The Dizzy Heights are fourth. And uh, I just spotted Ross County towards the top end of the table. Next up for us is Dundee, currently sitting ninth. So our next match is away to Dundee, who currently find themselves 11th spot. We still remain in seventh place. So I'm making a couple of changes here. My starting lineup will be Marciano, Stevenson, Hanlon, Erkstrand, Gray, McGinn, Ajara, McTomney, Barker, Boyle, and Stokes up front. So Ambrose misses out. He's on the bench. Shepard Murphy, hopefully, he's getting a few doubters on his case, so hopefully he can... Uh, Prove them wrong. So my opposition, they're going to start with a 4-2-3-1 formation. This fella here, obviously on my Blackburn Rovers related website, was linked to Blackburn only a couple of seasons ago. Um, scored for fun when he was in Dunfermline. So let's go. Let's do this. We kick off. So my strikers are not really finding the back of the net. So I've decided to... Um, do a bit of a controversial pick in a non oh my days the same stupid guy I was bigging up yeah my controversial pick was uh, Stokes up front um, obviously he never really did the business uh, at Blackburn come on son but he is a revelation for Hibernian I've not really given him a shot, shot yet so uh, I think my Blackburn bias is kind of restricting me to play him but I've 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 crumbled to the pressure now. Boyle, Stokes, Barker with a header. This would be uh, another upsetting result. Barker boots it long towards Stokes, but uh, doesn't really get anything on it. Spence now for Dundee. Bascanu. Walters, Bascanu, Spence, Allen, Kamara. Building nicely here, Dundee. Uh, but it amounts to nothing. It will be a uh, goal kick for Hibs. Throw in to Abaktoi. I can't even pronounce that. Gray boots it, gets rid of it. Only as far as the defender Kamara now. Spence Allen slips in that main man. He's on uh, He's on fire at the moment. Corner for Dundee. Headed clear. Walters right in the front of goal. Couldn't get his foot on it. He takes the, uh, the corner. Lake Smith and it'll be a throw in that looks like it amounted to nothing might have to uh, crank it up a notch in the second half Gray heads it clears over as far as Walters who crosses it back in the box Lake Smith has another snap shot it rebounds off a defender and goes out Dundee's resulting corner to Kamara back to Allen and Kerr Allen tries to get a cross in but it's been too late. It's all been Dundee, 100%. So a few tweaks at half time, and here we are for the second half. Um, Hepburn Murphy's on, change of formation. We've limited our central core a bit. And we're hopeful that the guys on the wings can feed the guys up front, Stokes and Hepburn Murphy, to try and find the back of the net. 60 minutes gone, just about. Here comes Dundee. Goal scorer has a shot from distance, but it goes wide. Hepper Murphy been through the mill with the press recently, not really finding his feet so far at Easter Road. Going to make a quick change here. Gonna go overload here. Cannot have this on my plate. It'll either be 2 0 or we will get the equalizer. We'll see. Or it will just stay 1 0. So 
of encouragement. Corner for Dundee fails. Boyle breaks. Hepper Murphy with pace. Spots man in the box. It's Murphy. That's why I get paid the big bucks. So that's both of my subs combined there. And here is Hepper Murphy with, with his injury. Electric pace. Sets up Murray from the edge of the box. The equaliser right on the 89th minute. Maybe maybe we got a we got a winner inside ourselves. Or, or probably not. But I'm happy with the point. I'm happy. This should be a dead rubber of a highlight. Or is it? Supposed to boil. Uh, it's over. I'll take that point. Bit of positivity for the boys. We did our read. Our third and final game will be up against St. Johnson. I think they are bottom of the table. We are sixth. Here we are with our final game of this video. We take on St. Johnson at their place. But before we get stuck into the thick of things, the transfer window has slammed shut. We brought in a player, Josh Windass from Rangers, for just under £100,000. Uh, he's not really been given a chance at Rangers. Um, I feel we can bring the best out of him. We were lacking in firepower up front. There were a couple of other players, but they fell through. Will he make the lineup, though? This is my starting lineup. Marciano in goal, Stevenson, Erkstrand, Ambrose, Gray. In defensive midfield, Silverka, Ajara, McTominay, Barker, Murray, and Windass up front. Not really his preferred position, but I'm going to go for it. My position here with a 4-4-2. Let's bring it on. Game on. Last game of the video. St. Johnson here, early bit of possession. Takes a shot by Cummins, goes over the top. Marciano boots it out. And here comes St. Johnson again. Corner, Craig. Comes to Wotherspoon. Back to Craig. Breaks up. But it's another corner. For St. John's, it's a long distance shot by Wotherspoon, but it goes over. A lot of pressure by St. John's in the opening eight, ten minutes. Four shots on target. Another highlight. Cummins with a shot. Marciano catches it. Boots it out. Windows has been pretty quiet in the first ten minutes. Barker gives it away. While the spoon crosses in there, McLean, oh my days. Hopefully, got, in fact, it's a big fat OG. Erkstrand with a goal. So, not a great way to end the video. That will put us right now, eighth spot, and it would climb up. So, Johnson there with another shot. She comes. Let's go attacking here. Craig. Wotherspoon, back to Craig. I think we have a decent enough squad to be top five. I'm, I'm pretty hopeful that we'll click into gear sooner or later. Cummins, Craig, back to Cummins. Wotherspoon again with a highlight. St. Joseph will continue. McLean with another effort. 30 minutes gone. Craig. Eventually gets to McLean, who's been a thorn in my side. Another snapshot just wide of the post. We've had no real highlights here. Windus in there with an effort. Sets up Barker, who heads straight to the keeper's arms. Free kick for Super Jays. Marciano with the save, I believe. Still 1-0. Still disappointing. 
10 shots St. Johnson's have had 3 on target compared to our 3 with 1 on target McTominay Gray Silka McTominay over the top wind that's Chase hits the bar goes away that would have been a good way to say hello to the Hibernian faithful and we're edging towards half time but that is a way to send a say hello to the Edinburgh faithful what a screamer from look at this look at this belter dead ball specialist I did not know we were going to buy that for 100 grand and that my friends is 1-1 one, one, just about half time what a belter we are in this game bit of assertive team talk let's jump straight in our second half and try and uh, find a winner Wallerspoon, Craig nothing absolutely nothing well, that was a belter. I'm still licking my lips after that one. 8.2 for Windass, even though he's hardly been involved in the game. Barker, free kick. Ambrose with a header. Goes over. Would I take this? I'm, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm hoping that we've got something left in the tank to get a winner. Because coming to, uh, to the bottom club at their place, yeah, it's always going to be tough in away game. But maybe we'll find something to get all three points because really realistically if we're going to be any threat to the top five top four spaces we've got to be winning games like this but it's still early days my team is still trying to find their feet trying to gel trying to find a rhythm Ambrose at the top Barker smashes it home oh it's Murray smash it home 76 minutes Ambrose floats it over McTominay heads it over bit of a scramble in the box Barker's there but Murray gets the gets the goal 2-1 up. 10 minutes to go. Another free kick. Abros! 3-1. Nope. That got scratched off. That would have done it. That would have been a nice way to end the video. But 2-1, I'm, I'm going to be happy with that if that holds out. Uh, no subs so far. I think I'm going to keep it as it is. Don't want to really break the, break the flow here. Much better second half. Edging towards full time here. Silka slips it in. Murray, Windass. Murray again, cross, cross it, son. Makes the keeper save, but doesn't really amount to anything now. What's left in the tank by anybody? McLean slips it through. Raphael's a shot, but keeper saves. Marciano boots it long, should be wrapping up now. Whistle, will ya? Barker, over the top. That's it. It's over. Massive three points. I am happy with that. I'm over the moon, in fact. Debut goal as well for Windass from a free kick. Spectacular. And that win puts us in fifth spot. And most importantly, we are still above Hearts, who are in sixth spot. So uh, that's going to be a meeting counter when that comes up. Speaking of the next video, uh, we've got Motherwell, Ross County and Celtic. So maybe a bit of revenge for Owen Coyle and a real, real challenge as we take on Celtic at Celtic Park. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves, Glory on the Rhine featuring Schalke and Nulfia, and Reach for the Summit featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.